Okay, this will be the last question for this paper. Study the pattern carefully and answer the questions that follow. So, the first question, how many triangles are needed to form pattern 25? Okay, so uh, we are asking a number of triangles. Okay, so it starts from pattern 1, there's 4 triangles, pattern 2, there's 6 triangles, pattern 3, there's 8 triangles, so on and so forth. So, you know, if you want to count all the way to pattern number 25, it would take a lot of time. Right, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, you know, you may make careless mistakes in between and, and you wouldn't want to, to experience that. So let me share with you a method that can help you so that you can immediately find the number of triangles to, uh, for pattern number 25. Okay, and that is to come out with a formula such that when you sub your pattern number is equal to 1, you get 4. When you sub pattern number is equal to 2, you get 6. When you sub pattern number equals to 3, you get 8. So, let me share with you how do we do that. Okay, first of all, write out the numbers, okay, and then we go and find out the increment. So, we will see that, okay, from 4 to 6, there's a change in 2. From 6 to 8, there's a change in 2. Okay, so we must understand that at this level, right, okay, every number pattern formula follows this shape, okay, follows this equation, okay, a value and plus another value, okay. So we are supposed to find out, okay, to help us how we can find these values. So let me share with you, this first value is actually the increment. Okay, and this value, okay, is actually the first number minus the increment. Let us put into context, okay? So the increment in this case is 2, okay, so 2 times n. The first number is 4, the increment is 2. So you realize that the formula is 2n plus 2. Okay, so... Let me let us validate this equation and pattern and you will realize that when n is 1 okay the value is 4 when n is 2 the value is 6 when n is 3 the value is 8 okay and you realize that eh, this formula is consistent and works for all numbers so now to answer the question all i need to do is to okay let us go back to the question since the formula is 2n plus 2 Okay, number of triangles. Okay, so we substitute n as 25. So the number of triangles, it would be 2 times 25 plus 2, giving me 52. Okay, that will be part A. Now, part B, what pattern is made out of 217 straight lines? So now they're asking for straight lines. So let's practice that again. So you have your pattern, which is 4, 7, 10. The increment is 3, right? So first value would be 3n plus, okay, first number is 4 minus the increment is 3. So this pattern follows the equation 3n plus 1. Okay, it follows 3n plus 1. So, if you want to have 217 straight lines, okay, so that's the final number of straight lines. This will be 317, right? Okay, so let us write back in the, in the box here. 3n plus 1 will give me 217. 3n will give me 216. n would be 72. Okay, so pattern number 72. Okay, try this for more number pattern questions and you'll realize that this formula works every single time. And why I want to introduce this formula to you is because I don't want you to waste time, uh, you know, finding out the formula, brainstorming what is the pattern, or, you know, worse, you know, go and count 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, all the way to pattern number 25. You know, this is a waste of time and therefore try to learn this uh, method and it will help you tremendously in... In, your, uh, in solving number pattern questions. Okay, and last of all, what is the total number of triangles and squares needed to form pattern 48? Okay, so uh, number of triangles, okay, let's work on it step by step. 
Number of triangles, we already know the formula, right? Okay, so number of triangles. Okay, let me erase this part. Okay, so num uh, at pattern 48. Number of triangles. It would be. Okay, 2n plus 2. So 2 times 48 plus 2 would be 98. Okay, and the number of squares. Okay, and the number of squares in this case, uh, let's look back at our pattern. In pattern 1, there's 1 square. In pattern 2, there's 2 squares. Pattern 3, there's 3 squares. So you can see it is the same as the number of patterns. So you know that number of squares in pattern 48 is 48. Okay, and therefore the total number, okay, would be 98 plus 48, which is 146. Okay, and that is the final answer for question 17, part C.